vitamins that you looking for spinach is iron rich and again I need my favorite cherry tomatoes they're really juicy plum tomatoes the baked beans. Baked beans I still love it. Olives I'm using, these are Greek olives. It's called Halki Tiki olives and, and really, 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 really fresh. And it's, it's kind of different flavor as well if you compare, if you, if you know about the olives. So they go seeds inside. So all you need to do is Feel it all. seeds inside and it's really good when you take out the seeds easy easy peasy so this is the best way I actually learned from the Gordon Ramsay I'm really inspired with that chef and the jammy I always follow their recipe Jamie is so good in vegetarian food as well and I love vegetables. So this is the green chilies. Get rid of these seeds. I'm using few chunks of red pepper. Just to make it more colorful. I'm not using eggs inside if you also add eggs it will be become the perfect breakfast recipe I'm using some pineapple I dipped in uh, sweet and sour sauce to taste it better these are we're not gonna put this in the cooking but just spread it when it's all done so not so 
the spices sorry for the spices i'm using these three only three special things um this is the cumin and this is you know the black seeds which is we call in uh, indian i think ajwain and this is the fennel seeds this really make the difference the fennel seeds and i'm using the sesame oil um because it's it should taste really nice you need to you need to use it if you are okay with that you can even use the sunflower oil i'm using the five chinese five spices and uh, there are seven spices as well as really kind of strong for this type of recipe so i'm using the chinese five spice this is the red chili you know just for make it spicy and the normal salt and and here's a spinach um you know in in my country there's a, always hard to um, get the spinach freshly so sometime i do just uh, you know cut it finely washed and everything and then freeze it and then i can use any time whenever i want for the bread i'm using the cd flour um i like this a bread too much because um it's also gluten free and uh, but the thing is um, this all seeds are totally blend inside so there's no crunch if you want crunchy you can use the crunchy as well it's got poppy seeds which is uh, really really rich in flavor so it's really go well with this bread so let's get start cooking first we will take a deep pan or uh, the normal pan you using to make your eggs we will take 2 to 3 tablespoon of sesame oil you can even use the normal sunflower oil or olive oil or even vegetable oil but i i like in this recipe the sesame oil taste best then you need to add your garlic clove which you have chopped if you think is popping out you can always tilt the pan so they will be a little bit calm down and will not pop everywhere You can even use the crushed garlic if you like, but I like that this way. And then you need to eat, put the onions. Try to spread them, and you don't need to overcook them. And just a little bit uh, till they are tendered and soft, because they will also cook. in in my griller so you don't need to overcook all the veggies if you think you can even use the cubes shape of the food as well inside like you can cut the onions and the capsicum and everything in a cube shape they also appearable then we putting this my spices it's just half a teaspoon of uh, fennel seed cumin and black seeds a little bit saute them my heat is still medium you don't need to do high heat because we don't want to brown them we just making them little bit soft and then you can eat the cherry tomatoes and you can add all the your green chilies and even all your other things one at a time just you need to little bit saute them You don't need to do overcook again. I said because this recipe will be ruined if you overcook all your veggies. We we need uh, the same crunch still be there. I'm using the spinach. Um, I normally uh, freeze also some spinach in my freezer because I like uh, to put little bit add of spinach in my all food. to make sure my kids and my family got enough iron you can use the fresh as well 
if i use the fresh spinach in this recipe i will not cook it i will just put the leaves um, when i'm going to grill it the sandwich so i will not put that spinach inside because it was frozen so you know there's always some kind of water left so i need to evaporate all the water from it that's why we need to little bit cook it then we will add the rest of the things like olives and the pineapple it's really a quick and easy peasy recipe and it tastes really nice then you need to add the five chinese spice um this is one of my favorite spice in sandwiches because it make the taste on different level not like normal indian or pakistani food taste it's go um seven spices as well but it's kind of really strong so i'm using the chinese five spice and normal salt and little bit paprika hot chili powder just to make it little bit uh, more our type you know we all love indian food so we will let a bit more fry it you know a little bit more cook until the spice go a little bit mixed in the oil and the taste develop then we will put the pineapple chunks you don't need to cook the pineapple chunks just only make them on the same temperature the vegetables are to clean the area so we can take out our griller and get ready our bread to toast it today the weather is a bit clear here so but still there is a prediction of snow in coming weeks there's always chilly and cold here So please do comment in which country you are watching my recipe and how's your weather. Please always remember this is the advice I always give it to myself and my kids and even whoever I met that always respect and love your parents. You can't find them when they will be gone. So I've seen the people they are mourning on the graves and asking wish we can, we can do this for our mom dad wish we can do that it's never too late always love and respect your parents they always sacrifice for you they're doing everything for you and they're still praying for you if you still got your parents please please do love and respect them
Here we go, my sandwich is really nicely grilled. Let's cut it with a sharp knife. Oh my god, this looks so lovely. This is my uh, red chili sauce I made myself at home. I will try to upload the recipe if I go enough time. Is the chili flakes in tomato sauce and look the sandwich looks so mouth watering you can see all the veggies inside let's taste it and you can feel the crunch it's crunchy outside and juicy inside so hope you like this sandwich let me know in comments if you may going to try this sandwich which ingredient you prefer and how you feel about this recipe